it was almost, you know, 99% telephone calls. You know, you'd have some face-to-face -face meetings, of course, but after that initial meeting, you have telephone calls. Now, I do email mostly. Uh, I'd say probably 80% of my communication is via email. It's easier for the clients to get things to me and easier for me to get things to the client. Uh, it's not, you don't play phone tag. You basically, you send an email, you ask what you need or they tell you what they want and it's there waiting for you. Uh, and you're not wasting time and wasting their time, you know, wasting days trying to get hold of each other because everybody is busy right now. A lot of times we'll, um, you know, go home, uh, open up the computer and sign in and log into the system here where we can have access to our emails and our, our files. We, about two and a half years ago, made a major push to get everything, every document that we have stored electronically so that whether I'm in the office or out of the office, if I log into the computer system, I can access any file in the firm and access any document within that file. So that's allowed us really to be more flexible uh, and be able to work really outside of the normal office hours and not have to be physically present in the office at all times when we do things. I know the players in the county. I know, you know, the state's attorneys. I know the, clerk, the, the, the courtroom clerks. I know the, the circuit court clerks and I know the judges and they know me. Whereas if you're working in a larger law firm in Baltimore, D.C., you don't know a lot of times there's people that you need to be dealing with. I mean, I know the people in the county government, the planning and zoning department, you know, on a first name basis. And I think that's a benefit to the client to have someone who does know the players involved.